The rains retreat ended this morning at dawn. And in Thailand, today is the day they call Dakpa Tewo, or in Pali, Tewo Rohana. The story goes, and this is a story that comes from after the canon, that the Buddha spent an entire rains up in the one of the heavens teaching his mother, who had passed away when he was only a few days old. And now was a deva up there. He spent the whole rains retreat teaching his mother. And then at the rains retreat he came down. He came down a stairway, escorted by devas and brahmas, and people who had been deprived of the opportunity to make merit with the Buddha, to put food in his bowl, learned that that's where he was coming, to a place called Sankasa. So he's coming down the stairway, people were gathered around. And he started his alms round, and the crowd was so great that people started taking their rice and wrapping it up in leaves, like the rice wrapped in leaves we had this morning, and threw it at him to get in his bowl. It's not a very inspiring sight, but apparently it landed safely in his bowl. And so ever since then there's been this tradition that this is the day that people come and make merit. The special feature of that day was as the Buddha was coming down that stairway, the world opened up. And this is why it's called Orohana, it means the opening. The devas inspired it. The world opened up so everybody on all the different levels of the cosmos could see one another. The punishments in hell stopped for just a brief, brief moment. The devas up in heaven could see the hells. Hell beings could see the devas. Human beings could see the devas and the be hell beings. And all the other levels of being there were. And you can imagine the impact that would have on people. We hear about rebirth. We hear about the different levels of the cosmos. And as long as we haven't had evidence of our own, there's going to always be an element of doubt. So you can imagine what it would be like if the earth opened up, you could see the levels of hell. The heavens opened up, you could see all the different levels of heaven. How people would behave differently. They would take their actions a lot more seriously, realizing that they have consequences. You can't just kill somebody and get away with it. Some people figure out, well, they're powerful enough, they can lie, they can steal, they can cheat. They can kill all kinds of beings and get away with it somehow. But if they could see that nobody gets away with things like that, people would behave themselves a lot better. This is why the Buddha said, even though he couldn't prove to people that there were other levels of being, but it would be for their own benefit to take that on as a working hypothesis. He didn't use the word working hypothesis, but he said, because we have conviction in this principle, give it a try, realizing that if you believe in these things, you're going to behave a lot better. You'll become a better person. Years back, I commented to a person who was in one of those clubs where people get together and talk about how, suppose that you were to live only one more year, how would you live your life differently? And they get together and discuss what's important in their lives, what's not important in their lives, how to make more room for what's really important. I said, suppose they got together and said, for one year, suppose you really, really believed in rebirth and karma. How would that change your behavior? And the year after that, I met this person again. He said, you know, when he said that last year, I really resisted it. And so I looked into my resistance, and I realized that if I believed in rebirth and believed in karma, I'd have to behave a lot better. I'd have to become a better person, which is one of the reasons why the Buddha taught this. We become better people if we take our actions seriously. So think of the world being opened up, and then act in line with that insight that you would gain that way. That way you can take this story, which is a story, as I said, doesn't come from the canon, comes from later. There is some evidence that it was believed in the time of King Ashoka. As is the spot where the Buddha supposedly came down has an Ashokan pillar to commemorate the event. We could take this story and get some use out of it, thinking about if the world were to open up and you could see all the levels of being, how would that change your behavior? How would that change your life? And if you feel that would make it a change for the better, okay, do that change for the better. That's how we benefit from stories like this.